The dog and his reflection. Ralph is a dog. He is always hungry. His master is a very lazy man. He only feeds Ralph once a day. When will my master wake up? When will he feed me today? I'm really hungry right now. I can't wait any longer. I'll get some food by myself. Ralph goes out of the house. He walks and walks. He looks for food. He can't find any anywhere. Ralph also gets lost. I can't find any food, and now I am lost. I should have stayed at home. My master might be awake by now. I am so hungry. <laughs> Ralph is very tired and sits down to rest for a while. He hears music coming from a house. Hey, what's that sound? It's music. It's coming from that house. I'll get closer and take a look. Ralph looks inside the house through an open window. There are lots of people inside, and it is very noisy. They must be having a party. Oh, I see lots and lots of food inside too. How can I get some food? Ralph tries to think of a way to get inside. Finally, he waits until no one is looking and quickly runs in. Everyone is singing and dancing and having fun. Look at all the happy people. Look at all the food. They are not even eating it. I hope I can just get a piece of meat. Someone please throw me some meat. Oh, please, please, please. Ralph closes his eyes and prays. He is so hungry. He is about to faint. Hey, look at that poor dog over there. He looks tired and hungry. Throw him something. You're right. What a poor dog. I'll throw him this piece of meat. Here, doggy, have this. It's very good. Ralph smells the meat and opens his eyes. Ow, ow. Oh my goodness! It's a piece of meat. My prayers came true. I wonder who threw it to me. That's not important right now. I better just take this and run. Ralph quickly takes the meat and runs out of the house. Look at that dog run! He is really fast. I guess he was really hungry. Poor dog. Ralph is very excited. He wants to take the meat to a safe place and eat it there all by himself. He looks for a good place to eat. Over there looks like a good place. I better cross that bridge first. Ralph is crossing the bridge. He looks down into the water. Hey, who's that dog down there? He has a bigger piece of meat. What shall I do? I know. I'm a good swimmer. I'll jump into the water and take the meat away from him. Then I can eat two pieces of meat. Yoo-hoo! <laughs> Today is my lucky day. Arf, arf, arf. 
Ralph jumps into the water. <laughs> Where did that other dog go? I can't find him anywhere. Ralph looks everywhere, but the other dog is gone. Oh, forget it. I better get out of the water. I might catch cold. Ralph gets out of the water and quickly shakes his whole body. That's strange. I wonder where the other dog went. But wait, where is my piece of meat? I had it when I jumped into the water. Now it's gone. Oh no, that's it. I dropped it when I went into the water. My meat is gone now. <laughs> As he is crying, Ralph sees another dog crying in the water too. This time, Ralph sneezes and the other dog sneezes too. Hey, look! He sneezes just like me. He also cries just like me. Who is he? Let me look closer. Ralph looks closer into the water. He is surprised because he sees himself in the water. This can't be. It's just me. It's just my reflection in the water. <laughs> then the other dog was also just my own reflection? I can't believe it. I lost my piece of meat because of my reflection. Oh, how foolish I am. Today is my unlucky day. I am lost, and I am still hungry. What shall I do? <laughs> Moral. If you are too greedy, you may even lose what you have. The Wolf and the Crane A hungry wolf eats a big, fat sheep. Yummy! <laughs> that was delicious. Now I'm full. But a little while later, the wolf feels something in his throat. <laughs> What's wrong? There's something stuck in my throat. Oh no, it must be a bone. It hurts so much. I must get it out, but I can't. <laughs> the wolf tries hard to take out the bone, but nothing works. It doesn't go down. It doesn't go up. I can't do anything. I need help. The wolf looks around for help. He finds a rabbit. Hello there, little rabbit. How have you been? It's a wolf. I better run. Don't run away. Listen to me for a minute. I have a small favor to ask. What? A favor? What kind? Well, there is a bone stuck in my throat. It hurts so much. If you take it out for me, I'll do anything for you. Take out a bone for you? How? By putting your paws in my mouth. That's dangerous. How do I know you are not tricking me? You could bite off my paws. I'm telling the truth. <laughs> <laughs> 
Please trust me. I'll do anything. Let me see. It is very tempting, but no thanks. I would rather live. I don't trust you. Bye. No, wait. Please don't go. The rabbit just hopped away. The next day, the wolf's throat hurts more and more. This time, he finds a sheep. Hello there, Miss Sheep. Oh, please, Mr. Wolf. Don't eat me. Don't worry. I won't eat you. I just need your help. My help? What kind of help? Please take this bone out of my throat. It hurts so badly. I can't eat. I can't breathe well. That's too bad. But why would I help you? You ate my friend yesterday, and you might eat me today. Goodbye. <laughs> Wait, Miss Sheep. I'll do anything for you. Plus, I'll give you a reward. Please, I won't eat you. Come back. The wolf keeps calling the sheep, but the sheep just keeps walking. The wolf's throat gets worse and worse. He can hardly speak now. The wolf is very sick and depressed. Later, a crane comes by. The crane is a very kind bird. What's the matter, wolf? You look very pale. It's nothing. Just go away. <laughs> What's wrong? Are you sick? I said, just go away. <coughs> the crane feels sorry for the wolf. Tell me what's wrong. I'll help you. Really? You will help me? Sure. How can I help you? Well, to tell the truth, there is a bone stuck in my throat. I can't take it out by myself. If you take it out for me, I'll do anything for you. Plus, I'll even give you a big reward. Really? Great. Just open wide and say, ah. Ah. The crane puts his long neck and bill inside the wolf's mouth. It's very dark in here. I can't see anything. It's to your right. Look there. <laughs> The crane finds the bone and takes it out easily. Here it is. I got it. Jeez, look at this. It is so big. It must have really hurt. <sighs> now I feel much better. Goodbye, then. But wait a minute. Aren't you even going to say thank you? And where is my reward? Your reward? I gave it to you already. You did? When? When I didn't bite off your head. You are still alive, aren't you? What? That's my reward? I should have known. The crane can't stop shaking his head in disbelief. Moral, don't expect anything from an ungrateful person.